guys welcome back for another video so today is monday we've been at home this whole time we all well we don't all have covid the boys are still good thank god for that but john and i destiny is back to being okay again she doesn't have any fevers or anything john doesn't have a fever anymore he mainly has a cough and he's really tired I'm just pretty much really tired right now. That's it. But I don't have a cough or anything, no fever, so nothing. So, so far, so good. I'm just exhausted. But we're still home in quarantine. So, the past few days, I have been doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it shows in the house. So, today, I'm going to do some stuff today. I won't be doing a whole lot. We'll see how I feel because yesterday I did do laundry and that pretty much almost took me out. So um, I'm trying to pick up some things around today and stuff. So I'll be starting a new vlog. So I will be bringing you guys along with me. Destiny's definitely feeling much better. How you feeling, honey? You good? Oh, okay. We're actually doing some schoolwork. I don't want her to fall behind since she's missing um, school this week. So what are we doing, babe? You choose. There's Susan B. Anthony, Ruby Bridges, Christopher Columbus, Ellis Island, Lewis and Clark Expeditions, Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King. So which one interests you the most to learn about? I want you to think. I want you to pick. I'm learning this one. Christopher, Christopher Columbus? Okay. I learned it at school. Okay, so that's the last thing you learned last week? Mm -hmm. That's fine. Hi. Okay. It's actually pretty cool. What are you looking for, Moby? The new world. We are in the new world. That's what people call the death. Columbus made his journey. Was Christopher Columbus anyway? Well, Christopher Columbus was an explorer who sailed to the Americas. He was America. born here in 1451. Mm -hmm. Columbus looked up to explorers like Marco Polo. Marco Polo traveled to Asia. Is that how the game spices, started, Marco Polo? The game? Well, yeah, Other from the from yeah. Europe thought they might sail all the way around Africa to reach the Indies. Columbus wanted to discover a faster route. I know. He decided to sail west and get to Asia from the other side. Mm. But he didn't know that the Americas were in between. Many people thought that Columbus couldn't make the journey. Some people thought the Earth was flat. Well, technically, he didn't Columbus really discover anything because it was already the there, was inhabited by other, you know, other the natives. The world was just too Most of the explorers did in those days. They, they took over them the land, Indians. stole gold and food, they sure did. and forced native people into slavery. <laughs> Columbus thought he had landed in India, and he called the native people Indians. The name stuck around after his mistake. Well, Columbus really landed in the Bahamas. Yeah. When he sailed to Cuba and Hispaniola, he he the idea Española is um, the maker of public. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess he and his crew were pretty confused. Good question, Moby. I thought I had to do like extra research for her, and you know, because I, you know, there's history that schools teach your kids, but they don't teach you all the history. You get what I'm saying? So for in a way, I thought I was getting ready to kind of tell her the real history about Christopher Columbus, but they actually told her that he didn't he didn't even make it to America. He didn't discover anything. No, well the Vikings came here hundreds of years before he came, but he didn't discover anything. It was already inhabited. So um I'm glad they kind of gave her the correct one. I was I was ready to tell her the truth. <laughs> you choose the next one. Huh? Okay, which one you wanna do? How about Ruby Bridges? Yeah, I like that one. Ruby Bridges. Go ahead, Ruby click on Bridges. it. Ruby Bridges. 
Did you click on it? So my friend Shanti for my birthday, she gave me a gift card to Amazon. So I had these books on my Amazon, uh, my Amazon cart. So this one's for house plans, and I want to learn as much as possible as I can for about house plans and stuff like that. So I got this beautiful book, and, it, and when I tell you it's beautiful, it is so beautiful and detailed, and it, it tells you about every single plant and how to take care of it. Um, this is the one that I have in the living room right here. So uh, problem solving with the plants and stuff like that. Like if you don't know anything about plants, like y'all, y'all tell me that y'all literally kill plants, but I do too. I had to learn how like, to figure out that not all plants are the same. All of them are different. Not all like lights. Some of them are like more lights than others. Some of them don't need as much um, water as others. Some need a lot of water. So um, I, I, I have to learn. I'm still learning. I barely know anything. But I wanted to get this book. Look how beautiful it is. Like, I don't know. Stuff like this is so uh, beautiful to me. And now, so I'm going to be reading about it. Like you get to read about the roots and stuff like that. Uh Oh, look, the ZZ plant, which I need to repot her still. I haven't been to the store to get the dirt. I haven't left the house, so I haven't been able to do any of those things because I have to repot my, my snake plant, my kids' snake plants and stuff like that. My aloe vera plant needs to be repotted. So I need dirt, and I haven't left yet. So, yep, so this is what this book is for, to learn all things about stuff like that. And look, how about spider mites? I've heard about that. I don't know what that is. This is um, spider mites. I heard about it. So I ordered the neem oil. It says it's supposed to help with spider mites. So, hey, what are you doing here? John is still coughing. Oh. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so I got the book for that. And then minimalist minimalist that it's not really about minimalism or anything like that how do i explain this book your step-by-step -step guide to a better home wardrobe and life so basically how to decorate but also get rid of things and that you don't need like you see it's not really minimalistic but i told you guys that i want to have more simple decor if i make sense like i wanted to feel yeah like i wanted to feel like airy and clean so i like white i like stained wood I like plants and you know it's just a certain way so how to declutter how to I don't want to move in a house like that oh you you ain't got to because you already live in one so basically I am looking through this I want to learn more like um, they have the less is better principle um, they also have how to maintain you know how once you declutter and you organize and you have things looking the way you want so how to maintain that Cause you know it, it could easily get jacked up right back again. Cause there is some areas in this house that need to be organized and decluttered, um, and stuff like that. It's just I just want to be able to um, declutter and simplify my life. So I hope that makes complete sense. But um, how to get your family on board and stuff like that. The room by room guy. So even simple stuff like doormats or like dish rags and stuff like that I want to it's not just simple stuff in your house I hope it makes sense so I feel like I'm rambling but that's what I got for my birthday with what my friend sent me so I'm super excited to dive into these two books so this is what my living room looks like and literally when you guys saw me unbox everything everything just stayed where it was I have not done anything I've been sitting on that couch bench watching shows and movies and doing nothing like this is what my living room looks like it's toe up from the floor it really is like everything's just everywhere and I want to clean this up I don't know if I'm going to do it today because I don't know my energy is pretty low right now still so I got some plant grow lights you guys so for this one right here because I feel like it wasn't getting enough light and I don't have space, you know, space on this side to put, to let it sit over there. So we got some plant grow light. I'm about to water this one. This little watering can came from Ikea. I ordered it online. I really like it. But it's been a while since I watered this one. And I touched the dirt to see if it was dry. And it was super dry. So um, just making sure I water her. I think that's good enough. Oops. 
I made a mess. So I just finished picking up my mess. I just want to wipe things down a little bit like the table and stuff. I haven't wiped them down in a while and I fixed the pillows and stuff. We've been using the blankets, so I'm getting ready to wash those after the towels finish washing. Destiny's doing schoolwork. I've been stopping every few minutes to help her out. Um, but I think she's good now. And then I'm just going to vacuum in here. It's been a minute, so I'm going to get that started real quick. And then I, I think that's all I'm going to be doing for today. <laughs> don't feel like vacuuming anymore I think the little energy I had I kind of used it up so I'm just gonna um, wash the blankets we used and stuff and the towels and then I'll be it for today at least for right now um yeah I was gonna vacuum I just I don't have enough energy for like that right now y'all John is miserable he is miserable he he's trying to eat but he said things don't taste right and for me either I noticed one of the things is the fact that um things taste and smell real funny right now i don't know how to explain it like i could taste food it's just it don't taste the same that's the best way i could explain it things that smell normal to me stinks really bad right now i don't get why but um i'm about to finish um i'm about to have um help destiny with her schoolwork her teacher sent over a list for of things for her to do which i'm glad because it kind of gives me a guide on what she's supposed to be doing and then once she's done with that i'll let her have some free time and stuff like that all right guys so i did just get this target order just now from this basket is so cute for the hearth and hand let me see if i can there you go from the hearth and hand so i got this for the kids bathroom and it's finally here. This is just part of the order that I just, that ordered. $17.99, that's 15. That's, yeah. that's $18. Yeah. So um, I'm about to put this in the kid's bathroom for their hand towels and stuff. And oh, I really like this basket. I like it. So it's going upstairs real quick. This is where I wanted to put it. But it came a little bit, I noticed, on the sides. I don't know. That's okay. Yeah, you won't really tell, but see, now I want to order another one to match up here so it could be matchy matchy, you know? It makes more sense that and way. And there. No, we don't need to match that one, but I just. Because so, like, I could use one for hand towels and one for rags. Hey guys, so before we got sick, I had these wings thawing out in the sink. I was going to put them in the air fryer. I never got the chance to cook them. It's been days now. And I don't want them to go bad, so I'm going to put them in the air fryer. Hold on, y'all. I got out of breath so quickly. Um, so, I'm, see I'm adding some grapeseed oil. This is the one I'm using. I got this one from Aldi. Let's see if you guys can see. Nothing special about it. So, whenever you fry up, I eat, it's me personally. Whenever you fry up wings in the air fryer, um, I always add oil. But this time, I'm going to add... Lori seasoning and then ranch seasoning. Oh, I saw somebody do this. Was it on Instagram? Instagram. Yeah, I think it was on Instagram. Y'all, you know one thing I noticed? I'm kind of like a scatterbrain right now. Like, I don't know. I feel like I can't put my thoughts together. I feel like my brain is kind of foggy. But anyways, I'm going to do, use some Lori's and some ranch seasoning. So, I'm going to season the chicken up. And then let it sit there for a while and then I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. And that's maybe what we'll have for lunch. Luckily, our friends from small groups literally have been bringing us dinner every day. They brought me laundry soap, paper plates, they brought um what else? Laundry soap, paper plates, like cookies for the kids. Like they 
made sure every single day we're pretty much straight. Yesterday we got chicken noodle soup with cookies and um, crackers to go with the soup. And I think someone else is bringing us dinner today. So I really don't have to cook. I just didn't want the chicken to go bad, you know. So I'm using some seasoning oil. And then I'm going to add some ranch seasoning. Use this side. And then whenever I put the chicken wings in the air fryer, I always add baking powder because it helps fry it up like it feels like you're eating fried chicken. So normally I would add about, depends how many wings you have, usually a tablespoon, a little bit over a tablespoon um, in there with your seasoning. So, yeah. So I've never used the ranch seasoning for chicken wings, but it's always a first time for everything. Okay, you know what? I feel like it needs a little bit more and a little bit more something else. I don't really measure. I just sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, what else? Let me see what seasoning, what other things I'm gonna use. Um, okay, so I'll use some of this. Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, garlic. I get this from Publix. So I'll sprinkle some of that in here too. But John doesn't have an appetite. I've barely been eating, but I'm sure the boys will eat. And I don't know if Destiny will. She hasn't probably been hungry either. Um, and then now I'm gonna add some baking powder. See, not this much. See, okay. And it's because I have a lot of wings in here because you don't even have to put this much in there. Okay, And then that will be it, you guys, for now. I'm just letting it sit on the counter for a little bit before I uh, put it in the air fryer, which I can't wait to use this thing. Whew, I am exhausted. <laughs> I let that scene take a break, and then we're going to get back to schoolwork. But she has been doing schoolwork for a while, especially when they're on the computer. You don't want them to sit there for that long, so I let her run her energy, whatever she wants to do, and then she'll come back and do some more schoolwork. All right, y'all, so one of the reasons I like this um, air fryer is because it's big. Like, I could put a lot more wings in here. It has a divider that it comes with that you could pretty much cook two different things if you want to. Like, you just put it in there, but if you want to cook a bunch of wings, you can just take the little divider out and just slide it out. So before I um, put the wings in there, I'm going to spray it with some olive oil spray and just add some wings. Let me see how many I can fit in here. One, two. We still have some Olive Garden salad that came with my birthday dinner. It's, they sent us five salads, right? So. We gotta eat that, so I think we'll have some of those salads for lunch with the wings. I was just thinking about that, I completely forgot about it. Um, let's see how many is in here. I think I, there's eight in here, I could fit another one. So, nine. I'll fit nine wings. You don't wanna pack it up. You never wanna pack up the uh, air fryer because you want the air to be able to move easily through the machine so um, I'm gonna put air fry 400 degrees for let me see if I can do it for longer than I'll do 25 minutes and then halfway I'm gonna flip them over so what I do is press start Done. 
Y'all see? Oh, snap. That looks so good. Me someone help me free this feeling. Don't want to think about the past. I'm crying out behind a mask. So give me something for the pain. I want to lose myself again. Please get out of my mind. Just get out of my sight. Let me go for one day. Let me lose myself Oh, I knew How this would end How I knew That it would die That we would Come to this That we would Say goodbye It's now the next day. Destiny and I just finished doing schoolwork. It's a little later than I would normally start a vlog. It's like, oh, it's 12.43, still early. So we just finished doing schoolwork. And now I'm getting ready to start organizing my hallway closet, which I'm going to show you guys that now. It's not terrible, but it's a hot mess in there and I don't like the way it looks. So I'm just going to reorganize it again this year. One of my goals is to organize, 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 and declutter, declutter a lot. So I'm going to be working with that a little bit at a time. Um, let me, I just got a shipment from Target. I got a new diffuser. So let me show you that, guys, that real quick. It is so pretty. It's from Opal House from Target. So I'm going to put this one in the living room. It just goes so well in there. I think I'm gonna do that real quick before I get started um, in the hallway. I actually love organizing and decluttering. Uh, okay, so this is one thing about me. 
I like the out like the house always looks clean and nice and put together but there's this thing about me that my closets are always a hot mess my drawers are always packed in a hot mess I hide things away everything looks clean from the outside but inside drawers and stuff like that is always packed away so this year I'm going to declutter and get rid of things and I'm gonna do better we all have something you know we all have something so um let me put this in the living room real quick i do find it so weird that the front of this has the cord right at the front you see what i mean so i'm just going to turn it to the side um and just fill it with water oh this is so pretty okay so i'll be using the now nature shield I know you guys can see so that's what I'll be using it's supposed to be like cleaning the air especially if you're sick it helps clean the air and stuff like that so okay there you go what my hallway closet looked like now this closet did not really come with shelves the only shelves that came with is these two up here and yes we do have a lot of toilet paper you won't catch us without toilet paper always been that way um a lot of this is already organized because i've organized this area before it's just it's mess it's gotten messed up over time and yeah i don't like the way it looks i also keep the vacuums in here as well um and my hand soaps like the refills and sheets and this is an area I really want to declutter is down here mainly there's stuff here that we don't even use so why do we have it why do we have it so I'm about to fix that sections I don't like to get everything out at one time so I'm actually going to start from the bottom I'm going to vacuum all of this up and um go through this stuff <laughs> I have way too many tri um, tripods and I don't need that many as well but I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this stuff I have to kind of move slow because my chest is still kind of tight and stuff so still recovering from COVID I'm just feeling much better though no need for us to rush in now Cause we're past the cold So I stay and just repeat it now Yeah, oh We dream about all things being alright But we freeze when it's all up to us is vacuum stuff and things that goes to um this Bissell power steamer so it comes with a lot of attachments and stuff like that and it was kind of loose my vase we have 
light bulbs and stuff in here more light bulbs things for the vacuum like this one's for this vacuum and then i have candle stuff i've been meaning to do make this but i'm actually on a mission to make this this week so i promised myself i'm actually gonna make a candle i don't know how i'm gonna start i'm gonna probably watch a few um, youtube videos but i'm gonna actually do it so i'm leaving that there this is actually some party supply stuff like the arch to make uh balloons and stuff so that's what i have in here the stuff that i need now here we don't need this anymore we have the alexa um this goes to a tear tray i can't even find it to be honest with you and these are attachments that i really don't use at all so i'm gonna donate that and then i'm also gonna donate those tripods because i don't need them it's been sitting in my closet just in case to say this one breaks but so far the last time i decluttered i have not used those ones so i think i got those from the goodwill at a good price of like three four dollars so i'll be donating them back to the goodwill we don't have any salvation armies or anything like that here because if we did i would go ahead and donate it to them instead this is a sachet that i keep i always keep sachets in the closets and this one came from kirkland's but i know at home sells them too and i haven't been able to go to at home to get a a bunch more because a lot of the ones in the closets right now don't smell anymore but this one i mean i smelled and it still smells good so i'm gonna just put it right back in the closet but i do need to take a trip to at home it's actually cheaper at at home than it is at kirkland's so um yeah but i vacuumed this at the bottom because it was so messy and then um the bottom shelf was pretty bad it was like black stuff <laughs> plugins from walmart um i've tried a few of them they weren't that good but i still have one left so i think i'm gonna plug it in somewhere and just use it up and then give it away but it wasn't like that good you smell it and then it just like it went really fast um yeah i didn't like it because i've been looking for some new plugins so i did order a bunch of the febreze plugins so i hope those work pretty well because I normally use Bath & Body Works. And as much as I love like their actual plugins because they're so pretty in the variety, after a few days you don't smell them anymore. I always try to smell stuff because ever since I got COVID, like I can't smell things very good. So I'm just going to plug this somewhere and um, use this up. I didn't, I personally did not like it. It doesn't work very well for me but I think I'm gonna plug this up in the kitchen so I just found three packs of the essential oil blends from Walmart the mainstays brand and the reason I have three packs is because y'all see that let me see if I can see it is it backwards or what oh I see. All right. It's basically, we're on the clearance section for $2. So I'll probably give some to my friends away. Give some away to my friends. But I completely forgot that I had them in there. So I'm going to get rid of the raggedy towels. I don't have many of them. So it's not many to give away. I just need to reorganize this session because I did organize this closet um and got rid of stuff but i just need to organize it again and then like the hand towels and stuff in here <laughs> Up to us. Fight, fight, fight. So let's fight. These 
white um, towels. They're looking kind of dingy. So I'm going to put them in a washing machine with bleach because I already have dirty white hand cloths waiting to be washed. But I was just waiting for more white towels and white stuff to wash it with. So I'm going to throw them in there with some bleach because these are kind of dingy looking. Yeah, but I don't want to get rid of them. So I think that's what I'm going to do real quick. Let me... it looks like right now I feel like it looks so much better than what it looked like before it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be Pinterest worthy but it looks better and it's a lot cleaner in here so I feel accomplished today and this bag is everything that's going to be donated to the Goodwill the tripods and stuff like that the clock there's a bunch of stuff in here some towels but that's everything that's going to be donated in here. Basket, I'm going to put it in my bathroom to organize one of the shelves in there. Hey guys, so I'm in the mood for baking. I haven't baked in quite some time and I just have the baking itch. So I'm going to make some blueberry muffins for the kids. I already mixed together the flour and the salt and baking powder. I also got the softened stick of butter, two eggs, one and a half cups of blueberries. These have already been washed. Some vanilla extract, sugar, and milk. And the recipe will be in my description box where it says winter dinners link. It should be the first one you see on there. So if you guys wanna go ahead and try it out. So I don't won't be taking you step by step through this process, but I'm excited to bake. I haven't baked in since, how long has it been? Like a week and a half? It seems like forever, so. Let's make some muffins.
taking these emergency ones and I'm gonna end up ordering some more um, it's helped out a ton especially I think we're gonna start just taking it through the um, winter season because it's definitely come in handy that's for sure so that will be all guys I think I've used up as much energy as I could no not as I could but I think I've done enough I'm tired now so I'm just gonna relax pretty much so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and keep a lookout for my next videos you guys bye